Let's continue on with our Cult of the Lamb cult here. Day 21, 8x followers, heretics defeated, one of five. Spoilers. Um, let's continue. We have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I wanna do, okay? I want to do an endless mission. I wanna go back to the Darkwood and stay there as long as possible. I was thinking about this uh, last night. I feel like there is a reason to have uh, fasting because your, your, your cult will fast for three days and not require food during that time. So if you do that, you can go on to an endless mission and then your cult will be fine for three days. Alternatively, we could just feast them. That works as well. So let's see what we can do. That's on a cooldown. We start with a diseased heart. I don't know how many tokens it requires to upgrade one of those uh, fleeces. So if we're gonna do that, I kind of think that we should feast and then I'll go out on like a, a huge long mission. I also have an idea, something I wanna do, is at some point I want to, when we get uh, sacrifice off of cooldown, I want to bring someone back from the dead bring back place pool because they were the disbeliever and I really hope the game acknowledges the fact that I uh, killed them and brought them back like I really hope he's basically like wow I believe you of course I mean you killed me and then brought me back how could I not believe you after this I really kind of want that to happen but who knew, who the freak knows but for the time being oh my god Mudacito at level freaking five Takes a long time to level them up at this point. What we could do as well is bring someone out on a mission with us. We have two level five uh, followers. I think that could be fun. Just take them out on a mission with us so that they can uh, give us whatever benefit we had from the the demon, alt demon summoning altar. I don't know, do they get hungry when they are... Um, do they get hungry when they're out on a mission? I don't know. <laughs> for now though, we'll give everyone a quick little blessing for the day, even though this does take up like half the day. Thank you very much. Mine has run out. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. We know that we're gonna have to get some more of these anyways. I also have no seeds, so we should really do a mission in order to get more food for everybody. You know, I, what I could do is just feed them now and then we'll feast later, which I actually think is probably better. Oh, come on. You don't even like looking at your own poop and yet you just keep pooping. We cannot get the uh, outhouses fast enough. <laughs> that has to happen soon. I'm freaking sick and tired of cleaning up after their poop. Oh, he's just going to poop again. And then they come over to look at the poop. Good conversation I hope they just love looking at their own poops and there's another one somewhere too where's this other poop oh my god I look away for like two seconds okay so let's let's do this summon demon more starting hearts wow X is level five as well gain more fervor more explosion damage automatically collect dropped fervor starts your next crusade with half of a spirit heart. That's not that much. Flies away and returns with red hearts. Okay, that's a very interesting one. Collect fervor, explodes near the enemies, flies away and returns with red hearts. I don't know what any of this stuff means, but being able to just like send someone off for hearts does seem pretty good. So you know what? Better health drops. Mother of Zerg. You're going to come out on a mission with me 
You do you get so do you get turned into Hathor? How does how does this work real quick? Summon demon. Well, you know he is Zerg, so sure. Summon demon. Mother of Zerg, you're becoming a demon. You are going to be inherited by the spirit of has been converted to a demon? What does that mean? Converted into a demon. <laughs> Flies her way and returns with red hearts. I don't know. Are you are you still a member of my cult? Or did I like turn you into something something else? No, he's still here. He's still here. He's just a demon temporarily. Um, sweet. Let's give everyone a little bit of food. I'm gonna I'm gonna make kind of a big batch here because I want everyone to be full up before we leave. I just want to get as many resources as possible when I when I go out. I want to I want these people to be safe for a ton of time. Y'all y'all good? No one no one's pooping. Hi. They're talking to each other. Hi. He loves it. All right. Divine inspiration unlocked. Healing bay. Shrine boondles. Tabernacle prison. We're gonna need a prison for what I want to do in the future. But for now, <laughs> I like how Tree Jam says, "Ah, uh, Abe cares about his followers." We're gonna need a prison. <laughs> We're gonna need a prison. So let's have them build that prison, and it's gonna be right over here somewhere. Uh, what else can we build before we head out? Let's give people nice shelters, and then we're done. You eating? You're eating. People are pooping. Before we before we leave, let's clean up the poop. Oh my god. There's another poop somewhere. You think that they would just not poop? Oh my god. Mud, disgusting. You, you just poop on the floor like an animal. All right. So I want to do another endless run, and I want to, you know, live on this one. I want to return with an insane amount of food and resources. I do kind of dislike this starting weapon, though, but we'll replace it with something else later. Flies away and returns with red hearts. So I don't know how this actually works. But, hopefully we'll have the opportunity to, uh, you know, see as we progress here. One thing I've noticed about uh, this game is that you don't seem to get uh, heart drops if you don't need them. I think it would be fun if you could actually get heart drops when you don't need them and then store them for later due to having this guy follow me around. Enemies have a chance of dropping fish. I, I kind of like this just to get more food over the course of the run. But more weapon damage is also freaking beautiful. We'll start with the fish, though. In theory, we're gonna be here for a while, as long as I do it right. Right, just immediately get hit. So if I can get fish now, then later I can get the damage up and then kind of make up for the fact that I'm missing a little bit of damage right now. But also, uh, you know, my my friend is gone. <laughs> my my. my demon follower. Maybe they will appear in the in the future somewhere, I don't know. What is this, by the way? Tentacles. I will accept some tentacles. So I wonder if uh, my demon friend, Mother of Zerg, is going to show up in the future with, like, blue hearts or something. We just got some commandment fragments, which is pretty decent. Definitely a renewable resource. There was no reason for me to take that upgrade, you know, a long time ago. Yeah. HP for a card or food into a shop. Yeah, I, I know I said I wanted food, but enemies are going to be dropping food. I kind of like this because we can get a follower. 
I do want to keep getting more followers when possible. And in theory, we'll have an opportunity in the future to get like maybe a better um, layout of, of resources. Gain a tarot card, plus one spirit heart. That's a pretty bad tarot card. Can I, can I reject it? I cannot reject it. That's fine. Well, is it fine? It's fine enough. Hello, he came, he came back with a freaking half red heart. Well, now I need it. Well, I got spirit hearts, unfortunately. I mean, thank you for the, the red heart, although I would have preferred a spirit heart in this moment. Paths. I haven't placed any paths yet, I really should. I, I Someone said you can do them for free and they're infinite, but I've just been a little bit lazy. We'll do some some refactoring of the of the base eventually. Yo, the tentacle ability actually does an insane amount of damage. Who would have known? I hope um, also that my follower X does not really feel that bad about me not <laughs> marrying them right now. I did kind of run away. Hey, Dare Nunu, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Welcome today, welcome. I just want like a, yeah, yeah, I just want like a new sword. Tentacles are fine. Level eight sword, 1.7 damage. Because this is chain attack, weak at first, but devastating combo. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the sword. The damage looks worse. I think it's actually better overall. Yonunu says, you should eat a pizza, Abe. Are you gonna buy me a pizza? You wanna buy me a pizza? I'll go eat a pizza. 20% chance of negating damage. Yeah, it seems real nice. I'm way more comfortable with a just normal sword, I think. We have 194 grass. Maybe I should be giving people uh, grass meals. We got enough of it. Sure, I buy you one how, though. Just, uh, send me a cheer and I'll go buy my own pizza. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the pizza doesn't work, the pizza commands, the various ones. Well, you got me. My friend did disappear, by the way. Presumably to return with some hearts in the future. Do not shoot a freaking arrow at me. There he goes. Hello. Could you not give me like a blue heart, mother of Zerg? You're like some sort of an armadillo or something? Well, who's gonna be the armadillo? Thank you, Mother of Zerg, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so I, re I really, I understand now the, the feasting. Like, originally I thought to myself, why would I want people to feast when I could just feed them for free, but Feasting does give you more time to go out on these endless missions if that's what you're interested in. Which is a good way of, uh, you know, accumulating a lot of resources. But it's not like you, um, have a reason not to just go back and do these missions over and over again. I, I presume that maybe you get better rewards as you keep progressing or something? Yo, Fervor takes a long time to rebuild. 
without having cards that give it to you. Like, I'm not able to actually use my right click, like, at all. Lamb flag statue. Statue of the mighty lamb. I really wish I had more fervor. I can hold, I can cast two of them now, but I tried to cast one in the last area and I couldn't, so I took a hit. <laughs> Coming through. That's the boss. There are like these, you know, constantly regenerating mini bosses. Divine Blast, Bane Axe. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Part of Bobbert says, Me, Armadillo Man. Witness Agaras. So we, we've already seen Agaras here, haven't we? So I suppose, um, We just get the, the same mini bosses kind of over and over again. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But what we should keep in mind is that we're not going to get like new, unique um, followers over and over and over again. Which is totally okay. Okay, you, like, went underground as soon as you spawned. Kind of annoying. By the way, thank you, Mother of Zerg, for the HP. I'm gonna assume that was you. Well, what, what hit me when they spawned in? Because he's... Oh, there's, there's one of them that has underground freaking... spikes. He also did give me a fish, so thank you for that. Oh, also, we don't get the follower, we just have to fight the boss. Understood. Uh, well, I gotta choose a blueprint. More paths. <coughs> uh. Thank you. Let me go this way. Sport of Yam says, hey, Abe, I got that game too. For some crazy reason, one of my followers wanted to try poop after I brought him back to life. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be bringing someone back to, to life soon. What's the cult look like? Their hunger can go for another little while here. But, um, I've got a plan. I've got a plan of who I want to bring back and when. For now, though, let's continue on. Nasty hit, please, um, come back to me, Mother of Zerg. You? If you miss... Oh my god. Zerg, help me! <laughs> if you miss, you're stuck, basically. You're stuck in your animation. Oh no. I need the HP, man! Where are you, dude? Oh God, he came back to me. Thank you. Now go do it again. Oh, there's a ton of HP here. The game really does give you HP when you need it. It's remarkably easy to come back from a bad mistake. I do wish that the, it was a little bit easier to dodge in the correct direction. Like if you, um are in the middle of an attack and you try to dodge, it'll go in, a, in the wrong direction, I feel, in a lot of situations. It's like the, the minorest of minor complaints, but it does make the dodging sometimes feel unresponsive. Zerg putting in work. I guess that's his other ability, right? Better health drops. 
Presumably it's not from him, because he only gives me half of a red heart every time. It's from the, uh... The chests, I assume. Okay, 83 coins. We're stacking up the cash from this run. Acquired a wreath. For four grass? Yeah, we can build a lot of those. Our cult is gonna look so pretty when we're done here. <coughs> uh, which one should I use for the pizza money? This is Dare Nunu. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, man. Yo, let's go get another follower, food, and logs. There's a big question mark up there. I don't know what that's gonna be, but... No, 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 no. You don't really get that many berries, but you do get a lot of uh, seeds, which I guess is what we need. How many followers do we have? We're almost at 10. I think we're at eight. Or maybe we're at nine right now. I guess we could just go check. What says my PayPal? It's another one of you. Now I'm all alone. Okay, you can be sacrificed to my god. We have eight followers. Sport of Yam says I've got 14, but half of mine are old as hell. Oh, my, my followers definitely die before, <laughs> before they reach the ripe old age. It's a, uh, it's a commandment. Thou shalt not get old. Okay, we well should be able to build a lot of stuff now. You've got the resources to make it work. Ah, you know what? Take a weird tentacle. I I love the the damage from the axe, but I'm absolutely terrible at getting hit when I'm using it. Maybe the uh, maybe the dagger is like the way to go. Hey, Sira, welcome. By the way, how is life being an ascended member member of my cult? Is it good? Have you seen God? Plus two spirit hearts, Chris's consume less fervor. Honestly, just give me the, the raw HP gains. Beautiful room. Melee attack that can be charged for increased power. We've seen that before. Or flaming shot. What do we what do we currently have? Level 7 tentacle damage 6.5. These both seem to do more damage. Piercing bolt. Hold a release to make it more explosive. Let's just go uh general piercing bolt here. I feel like it's been a while. And oh hey, it's Witness Agaris! I feel like I've seen you before, Witness Agaris. That's okay and all, but, uh... I missed my, uh, explosive shots on those. go that one worked Zerg hopefully I don't need you to keep giving me any HP on this one although I did just run into that shot as I said it
Yo, do not summon more enemies. We can get another blueprint or a bunch of seeds. Yo, just give me another blueprint. A leafy lantern from the dark wood. Mimi says, I sent you pizza money. All right, you know what? I'll have to buy a pizza then. <laughs> Either tonight or tomorrow, thank you. It'll be yours, I'll take a picture of it. To prove to you. Yo, let's keep going. Their faith is getting low, but I'm sure, I'm sure we can do one more loop here. We will have to, you know, go back and manage them at some point. I wonder why their faith is getting low. It's not really that dirty. Oh, let me look at my cult. They're just, uh, I guess they haven't seen me in a while. They're like, Bill Murray has reached old age. The flock is ready for another sermon. A bed has collapsed. X has reached old age. Mud and Bill Murray have become friends. Mother of Zerg has been converted into a demon. Maybe he's he's angry at being a demon. I don't know. We gotta we gotta make it out of here quick though. We gotta rush this. Better chests. Let's go. I don't got time for your shenaniganeries. They appreciate being turned into demons though. You know, that's not hard to do. Yeah, if I'm willing to bet they just want a sermon. And it is actually like pretty tough to get the proper uh, timing on those, those um, curse casts. Thank you for the HP. A bale of hay from the dark wood. I want to also go, keep going to the dark wood to get all the rest of these dark wood blueprints, but there's just a lot of blueprints to get in general. Enemies drop double fervor. Well, now I can cast more. Please die. You're poison. Surely you should be dead by now. Okay, one left. Thank you. Look at that shot. They they gave me a nice little retort. But they're dead. Good chest. Four paths. Dirt flooring. Someone's getting dirt. Give me another card. 20% chance of gaining a spirit heart when killing an enemy. That seems incredible. We could freaking go infinite if the cult was uh, actually faithful. It seems like they are just desperate for a sermon right now. Damages everything on screen when hit. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, something tells me I'm gonna need more followers considering everyone's getting old, so we'll head up here. Dirt is important, says mud. Excuse me, you should be saying mud is important, says dirt. We should actually be able to make it back in time for the wedding. And I've got a plan. Believe it or not, I've got a freaking plan. Whatever, I don't need more, more grass tufts. I think tuft-wise we're okay. And we're gonna get so many followers from this too. I do like that I can knock enemies back so hard that they get, like, temporarily stunned. Hey, it's a Not Bill Murray replacement character.
There was a, um, there's a card you can get. And the card is, um, poisoning. I feel like that card poisons every attack, but the weapon, the Bane weapons, don't necessarily poison on every attack. It's a bit of a random chance. Send you back to base, see you later. All right. Two more levels and then we're out. My strategy is basically dodge roll attack, dodge roll attack. <laughs> Mud says, I don't understand how vampiric weapons work. In this game, it seems like uh, how they're, they're stated is that when you get a kill, there's a chance of getting HP back. So the more enemies you kill, the more likely you are to get HP back. But there's, you know, a very limited number of enemies in any individual level or run. So it does seem, why did I walk into that? It does seem that it's a little unreliable. Not old reliable, unreliable. More paths. I mean, it's gotta be done. We gotta collect everything. I do love it when it actually freaking crits. Did you hit me? That seems unlikely. Attack rate increased by 1.25 times. I like it, I like it. A lot to continue exploring though. We should make everyone look different. No one's a fish yet. So far, I've just been letting everyone kind of just be as they are. Egnarts will leave the cult tomorrow and take $66. He's dissenting and spreading falsehoods. Yo, we gotta we gotta get out of this this dungeon. Not not through death either. We gotta like actually get out of here. If only these enemies weren't the tankiest pieces of garbage. Yo, we gotta go. I'll grab the HP and run. Don't even, don't even worry about the last room. Is this, is this, this isn't even the final room, is it? We got one more. Yeah, we gotta do the boss one. Well, you know what we could do? We could fight the boss immediately. Um... I think we should. Because we gotta get out of here. Yo, they really dislike the fact that I took a day off of the cult. Hey, Leshy. Uh, uh, again. Oh, that's, that's my dude. I might be tanking some of this. Okay, I just took like four hits. Should probably not be tanking. I don't know how to tell your attacks apart. Mother of Zerg, I would greatly appreciate you taking a... Oh, they attack backwards. I would greatly appreciate you leaving and grabbing a little bit more health. Just saying. Careful.
Careful. One of these, we gotta just go through it. Leshy's almost dead. There we go. Poor Leshy, favorite punching bag. I wonder, does time progress while you're doing this? Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Hey, pile. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> Should've gotten the bones at least. But we collected a lot of stuff. And we got a few more followers for the people who are about to leave us. Continue. Vessel, do you not worship me? Do you not give offerings in hopes of gaining my favor? When you return to your cult, you shall find a new offering chest. There you can provide offerings that I, in my generosity, shall turn to gold so that you might strengthen the cult. But I'm not easily satisfied. The same gift offered too frequently will cause the price to be lowered. Yet fear not, over time it will grow in value once more. Give me proper tribute. Can we put Eggnards in the chest? 